Hi guys, okay, today I'm gonna do a pack with me video showing you the makeup I am taking with you when I move. Now I leave in less than a week and I'm going to start packing up all my makeup obviously because I need to do that. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna keep out and bring with me. So obviously I have all my project pan items. If you wanna see my project pan, if you don't know what it is, I will have a link to the playlist down below, but let's just jump right Okay, so everything into I'm it. taking is in these two makeup bags and right here, not including brushes. I will say I have a, a separate brush roll and this does not include brushes or skincare. This is just makeup. So the first thing I have is this Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I have my Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright Eyeshadow Palette and my Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. And then in this first one, which is a train case from BoxyCharm, I have more eyeshadow palettes because why not? This one's eyeshadow and face palettes. The first one is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. And then I have my A Little Bit Hippie, A Little Bit Hood by uh, Shy Shadow Palette. And then the next one is, the next two actually are by Ace Beauté, and this is the Scarlet Dusk palette. And then I have the Vintage Dawn palette. And then I have my Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. And then I have my Cover Effects face palette. This is the Perfector face palette in light medium. And then I have my Carly Bible and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. And then along with my Too Faced Park F Princess uh, face palette. And then this one is where all the makeup is. Now, this top row, or this top layer is lips and blush, bronzer, and highlight. So blush, bronzer, and highlighter up in here. I have my Rare Beauty Love Blush. I have my Cabana Boy by The Balm. My Tarte, what is this, the Feisty Blush. And then I have my... Oop, I just dropped it. Jeffree Star Skin Frosting Crystal Ball in my project pan. Along with my So Susan Dream Maker highlighter in my project pan. And then I have this Kvos Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter, which is stunning. Along with my Hula Benefit Bronzer and my Beauty Crop Sardinia Sand Bronzer. And then right here we have lips. So up here we have a LA Colors lipstick in Natural Shine, along with a Bella Pier lipstick in Incognito, which is a really pretty nude, which you will see a theme. And then I have the Maybelline Gone Grayish Bold Matte Lipstick, and then my Becca Sugar Lipstick, along with my Rare Beauty Lip Balm in Praise. And then my Buxom Hot Toddy Lip Gloss, along with my both of my Floss Lip Glosses. So I have one in Yule or Y-U-L, and then I have one in LAX. And then I have an Ofra Lipstick in Oh My Rai Rai, along with my Wet n Wild Bear to Comet Lip Liner, which is my favorite nude lip liner. And then my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. And then my Sugar Rush Cosmetics Cupcake Lipstick. And my Rare Beauty, what is this one, Courage Lipstick. And then this very last section is where everything else is. Now, the first thing I have are my lashes. I just picked the pair from Shy Lashes since there are three in here and they are pretty small and compact. And then powders, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in Translucent. Along with my Cody Airspun Powder in Naturally Neutral. And then my number seven Lift and Luminate Press Powder in Light. And then my Revolution Conceal and Define Satin Matte Pressed Powder. And then I have two setting sprays. I have my Catrice Prime and Fine and my In Beauty Project Power Up Setting Spray, which is my Project Pan. And then for foundations, I have my two Project Pan ones. I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and the Misha BB Cream. And I also chose the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. And for a little more coverage, my Maybelline 110 Porcelain Dewy and Smooth uh, Fit Me. And then for concealers, I picked 
a few. I have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener shade along with my Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer in Fair Neutral. And my Becca, what is this, Light Shifter Brightening Concealer in a mitt. And then I have my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. And then for foundation primers, I chose the Wander Beauty Glotion and my No Pore Bloom Priming Water by Touch and Soul since it is in my project pan, along with my Glam Glow Nude Glow Primer. And then let's get mascaras out of the way. I just grabbed all the open mascaras I have, which now that I'm looking at it is a lot. So the first one is my Sephora Big Lash or Big Volume Lash Craft Mascara. And then I have my Maybelline Great Lash. And then my Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes, along with my Tristique uh, Good Vibes Only Mascara, which I love that stuff. And then the Drama Queen by Ruby May. And then my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, my Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama, and my Wander Beauty Mile High Club. And then some eyeshadow primers I chose. I have my NYX Glitter Primer, along with my NYX Professional White Eyeshadow Base and my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then if you pot eyeshadows, this is the Tarte Top Yacht Chrome Paint in my project pan. And then I chose the Hourglass one. And this one is in the shade Scattered Lights, which looks like a really pretty brown. Oh, one more mascara, I forgot. This is the Hank and Henry Mascara. And then for eyebrows, I chose a few products. I have my ABH Dip Brow and my ABH Brow Definer, along with my ABH Brow Gel, and then my Urban Decay Brow Blade. And then I have my lash glue. This one is by Ardell. It's the lash grip. And the rest is eyeliner. And I have three of the Wet n Wild glitter eyeliners. I have one in the shade Gunmetal, one in the shade Blue, and one in the shade gold. And then I have my Benefit Highbrow, which I use as an eyeliner. And then my two Illuminati Gel Paint Eyeliners. I have my Electric Blue and my Electric Pink. And you guys, that is all the makeup I am taking with me. Let me know you guys think down below. Have you used any of these products? If so, let me know what you guys thought. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. That is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see the next one. Bye.